Hey everyone, it's Pixcalibur123, and um, this part here is actually a post commentary uh, because all this part is is actually this mini game here. It's kind of annoying to do. It's not that difficult, but I actually had a lot of failures here. And actually, what I am putting in here actually are a lot of my failure bits here. Just to show you how badly I flopped this mini game that I used to have down like solid. Okay, so level of a page. <laughs> That's gotta be pretty thin. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you know, you hit him a hundred times or more, and you only have three hits yourself. Now, you don't have to get a hundred, the actual goal is um, five hundred. Uh, at least that gets you all the the big goodies. Now it can take you a little bit of time to do this, and you can see I'm really sucking already. I tried to do this with a um, live commentary, and it was just not working. I was about to start cursing um, after like my fifth failure or something. Look at this, this is like, uh, gotta be a new low for me right now. And he's only got two attacks, that upward swing and then a sweep from side to side. Uh, that's really the only two attacks he's got, uh, it's just being able to kind of steer clear of the two here. Oh my goodness, that, that has got to be futility. 30 hits, that, that, I don't think I've ever gone that low before. I think the lowest, even my first time playing this game was probably like 50 or 60 or something. Alright, so that was a complete failure right there. Uh, this second try here, not much better. At least I'm off the page and now... Uh, up to a night. Alright, so we get uh, some money out of that one. Also, although I still... Pretty much that sucked. Alright, uh, so third attempt right here. Doing only a little bit better. Um, after you get 100, uh, the next mark is 300, and I still cannot hit 300. My goodness. It's like, man, I really suck at this. Okay, this is our uh, fourth attempt right here. Okay, at least I passed 300. But seriously, I've never had this much trouble doing this before. 430. Uh, you get a hundred rupees for passing the 300 mark. Seriously, that's still suckage. Just, just terrible. Okay, uh, this is our fifth try right here. So, uh, doing a bit better here. And he decided to be a real idiot and just totally knock me out of my rhythm because he just kept blocking every shot. I, I couldn't get any hits. Uh, so you only need 500 to get the piece of heart, but I was trying to get up to the maximum limit, so uh, I would only consider that a average. I, I'm still tempted to say that sucked. Only, only 960 something. Still pretty poor performance. Okay, here's actually this is my sixth try right here. Um, this is all fast forwarded, and so you can tell how this will turn out. I'll show you exactly what I did here. So I tried to get kind of a rhythm in terms of positioning. It kind of takes me a while to get into that rhythm. And then I managed to kind of establish that rhythm. It makes things a little bit easier for me. What makes it so difficult is it's so tedious to do. To get a thousand hits on him.
You, know, you, you don't actually damage him or anything. You know, he always he blocks every shot, so don't worry about actually hurting him. But you have to get a thousand hits. Well, you don't have to, but it's just for bragging rights. And it's not that hard. It just takes a long time here. And by this point, my wrist is really hurting me here, so... Uh, I think the other time I just... You know, I... I was, like, tearing up because I didn't blink for a while, so... My eyes are getting dry or something. Kinda lost my focus then. Okay, but we got a fresh start here, so... We're doing pretty well right now. Now, the way I'm doing this is very weird. Um, you really don't want to go for combos. You know, just get, like, a few... You know, three or four little hits. Always keep the... Keep them, uh... L... Target or Z target or whatever. Or L target it. So always keep the L target on and um Yeah, you don't want to put hold, you wanna actually want to put switch for this so you don't have to hold the button down, because that's just way too tedious. Because if you lose your targeting, that's basically it. But see how much he's blocking? That's when it can get really difficult because he's really throwing off your rhythm. But I think I've kind of learned how to, you know, get the reflexes down that... Even if he blocks quickly, I can always jump back. But you see how tedious this is. Alright, so as this is going on, I actually, um... You know, I'm trying to think of there's an easier way to do this. Um, yeah, I really don't like those counter-attacks. I try not to do that, because it's too much risk of you doing the wrong move. So, I actually was just watching, um... Uh... uh so... Uh, let me go back, um... So, uh, Atma is doing, uh... An LP of this, a blind uh, let's play of this game, and so I had watched uh, one of his parts um, that involved him doing this, and I mean he only got like a hundred hits, but I think that's kind of where he stopped. But he was using a shield, and I noticed it was blocking all of um, you know both of um, this guy's attacks, like up the that kind of upward stroke and then the side attack. I was kind of noticing that, and I was thinking, you really can use your shield, and I was, like, uh, I was thinking I felt like a total nitwit at that point, because I did not realize you could use your shield. I thought it was just purely just using your sword. I don't think I, I did not realize you could use your shield, because that would have made things a lot easier for me. Uh, I mean, this requires some pretty fast reflexes here. Especially, well, mainly when he blocks. Because I'm, I'm, like, barely getting away from him when he blocks my attack, so... So, I mean, I had... I'm kind of curious to test that out, but I'm not in any mood to go back. Maybe when I uh, replay this the second time... You know, um, I, I may do it then, try out the, using my shield. Because I would think that would help, because instead of me having to push, you know, the A button to do backflips and stuff, I can just, even when he blocks, I just put up my shield. I don't have to back up, you see, I could just let him attack and then I just put up my shield. Make my life easier. I mean, if that's really the case, if it works like that, then that, that would really save me a lot of headache. Getting uh, to a thousand here. I mean, this strategy isn't that good. Just messed up right there. See, if I could use my shield there, I probably would have been able to block that, to be honest. Because to use to do these backflips, you gotta have very good reflexes. You just have to know when he blocks and then quickly leap back before he gets you.
Uh, luckily, I, it looks like I had, I have this kind of down here. I'm doing pretty well right now, even though I've taken a hit. I mean, I have gotten a thousand without getting hit before. Another big thing is don't look at the number. I mean, that, that just really distracts you to look at that number. So you just keep, keep your steady rhythm up and... Eventually you get to the end. You automatically stop when you hit a thousand. Yeah, this had to be sped up. This is, I think, at like triple speed. Um, because this took me... It was like 25 minutes or something. Literally. It's 25 minutes. It's just it's so tedious to do this. Again, you only need 500 hits to get the, the piece of heart. But I want to show you what the... What you get for a thousand. Again, you automatically stop. Uh, Phantom Hourglass has something similar to this, but I think you only need 300 to get the heart piece. And there's no... There's really no point going further than that. You don't get any... Um... Bragging rights for getting 999. Maybe to keep a, a record of your... Highest counter, but that's about it. That one might be harder to get 999, actually. Kind of requires a different rhythm. Alright, so we're holding on pretty well here. I've kind of got him in this rhythm here. Because this gives me the easiest time doing backflips. So even if he makes quick blocks, like, sometimes he'll just... What annoys me at sometimes is that he'll block me after, like, either one shot or he'll immediately block my attack. So it's like trying to basically throw me out of rhythm. Uh, see, you see a lot of blocking right here. But luckily, I kind of can quickly get back my rhythm here and get this back in place here. See, that's why I don't want to counterattack because it, it, I jump over his head and, or whatever, go around him. It's gonna throw me out of position. Uh, this is a good position to keep myself in here. But look, look, I'm getting away from this. See, look how much he's blocking. I mean, that's so annoying. But luckily this time, I, I think I'm better at my reflexes. I mean, he's blocking a lot here. This is ridiculous. But that's fine. I'm able to maintain my rhythm here. And there we go. So after you get a thousand hits, he automatically stops. And he calls you Master Link. And you still get the piece of heart, so... <laughs> Your left index finger not numb? No, it's my right wrist that's killing me here.